in central Ghana, making a living is not easy. Many people here process and fry gari. It's a storable flour made of grated and fermented cassava. Gari is popular in Ghana and other African countries. Mary Yevo, a mother of three, is one of the gari producers. I've used the traditional open fire pit to fry gari for 17 years. That's what I was trained with, but with that I was directly exposed to smoke from the fire, and I spent so much money on firewood. The traditional open fire pit produces a lot of smoke. It's estimated that the toxic fumes kill thousands of people each year. Therefore, Mary was happy when she learned about a new kind of stove. With the open fire pit, I often coughed and felt pain. With the new stoves, I don't inhale smoke while frying gari, and I use less firewood. But I make so much more gari than before. The new stoves are handmade from clay. They have only a small hole on one side for the firewood. This means the heat is stored. Wood use is very efficient and there's hardly any smoke. The stove costs over 170 euros and were invented by the Dutch development organization SNV. The NGO also facilitates bank loans for people to be able to afford to buy them. That we try to pitch the financial viability of, of, of financing improved cook stoves. Uh, to these banks and, and, and we give them a lot, a lot of reasons to, to want to venture and see this as, as, as a business entity. One benefit of the improved Gary stove is that it needs just a third of the fuel wood. In Ghana, deforestation is a huge problem. The country has lost a third of its forests since the early 1990s, making firewood an expensive commodity. Earlier, Mary Yevo spent almost 20 euros on wood to produce one sack of gari. Now, it's just 7 euros. Since we started using it, the benefits have been enormous. Now I make enough profit from my business. I can better take care of my family. According to the Dutch Development Organization, over 150 improved gari stoves have been installed so far. And with hundreds of thousands of Ghanaians involved in agriculture, a lot more could follow.